Welcome back everybody to another video. Today is going to be a vlog. So I'm going to be actually vlogging the whole thing myself. I'm just going to take you along. Today's a rest day, so I'm going to show you what my rest day nutrition is like uh, and what a typical day is like when I'm not in the gym. So first up, well, I've just been for a walk, so I didn't film that. But yeah, that's typically how I like to start my days. Every single day, uh, start it off with a nice walk around three to 4,000 steps and I get the rest of my steps um, in throughout the rest of the day. So let's get a coffee. Coffee acquired. And now we're over to the, this is the electrolyte station, so Let's get a glass. Every morning, so we've got one serving of electrolytes. And then while I'm here as well, I just do my creatine. So just over a scoop, which is about five grams. So there have actually been some adjustments made uh, recently. So on the last video, of course, you saw it was four and a half thousand calories peak of the off season. Now, at the moment, uh, we've entered the pre-prep phase. So I've got, I'm starting prep in June. It's currently around mid-May, um, of course. It is, isn't it? Yeah, literally mid-May, 15th. Um, so for this month, we've dropped food. Okay, so food's come down a little bit. We're gonna to look to wash off fluids, wash off inflammation, and essentially just get me into a, a prime position to begin my prep in June. So with that, I've already seen a drop of around two and a bit kilos um, in the space of no time at all. So my body's responded quickly. Uh, today, I'm gonna to be operating at, as it's a rest day, very low food in comparison to what I've been having. So 3,140 calories, 210 protein, 450 carb, and 60 fat, um, so a lot lower than I'm used to. I have already seen appetite increase, which is, is hilarious because it's still fairly high food, but because I've been eating that much, I'm actually hungry, which is nice. I've actually been enjoying my food. I've been being a bit more inventive with my meals as well because it's, it's that's what happens when you've got a little bit less food to play with. Um, so yeah, that's the current situation, just washing things off. I have had my check-in feedback today for my coach, so I'm gonna watch that um, and I'll see if there's anything anything new that's that's come up. But essentially, it's just spending some time washing fatigue off and inflammation uh, and getting ready for prep. So I'm going to have this coffee now. Um, I've already had one coffee. I've been for a walk. So I'm going to have another one. I'm going to take my morning health supplements, which I might show you now. And then I'm going to get straight into check-ins. Um, got a big day today because it's rest day, so I allocate as much work as I can to my rest days. So I'm going to get stuck into that. All right, so here's the morning health supplement stack. We've got omegas, of course, kidney blood pressure stack heart stack we've got b12 and k2 so that is a stack at the minute that's what i take i do have some pre-bed supplements as well um but i might show you those at the end but this is what i take in the mornings so the frequency for these one two three four of the heart stack four of the kidney blood pressure stack one k2 one b12 and then oh, of course i've got a new two omegas so actually when you are buying omegas, make sure you're looking at the, the EPA content. Here we've got 800 milligram EPA. All right, here we go. Okay, this is actually the setup, the office. Um, as I probably mentioned on the, uh, when I showed the house around when we moved in, we've got Three bedrooms, so obviously one of them uh, I'm going to be using as an office. Uh, I've got my laptop set up, uh, my Mac as well, ring light there for my check-ins. Um, and yeah, this is how I like to, to get things going. So yeah, a good number of check-ins to get through today. Um, as I mentioned already, it's a rest day, so I've allocated uh, a good chunk um, of my work to today. Uh, which makes sense. The gym takes up like two hours of my day at least, uh, with the drive, etc. probably longer. So I've got a lot more time at my disposal today. So we're gonna crack on with this. Um, and as I said, I'm just gonna take you through what I'm eating as well, um, 
etc. So we'll just see where the vlog goes. And these are all things that we're gonna have to take into consideration, mate. Of course, like our journey over the past, it'll be a year and a half we've been working together now, mate. And then we'll get you out here. Once you're, once you're out here in my radio, we'll get a session in. Uh, obviously get it for the YouTube, um, etc, etc. And then yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there, bro. All right, it's time for breakfast. Um, it's now like half 11, I think. Uh, and I'm getting pretty hungry, so you will have seen this breakfast. It's not changed since the last uh, four day of eating, but basically it's just my eggs, egg whites, uh, probably bagels. I don't think I've got any bread, so I'm gonna have to go with bagels um, and some fruit. And then I'm gonna have the, some grains after that. So yeah, I'll just I'll probably still show you anyway though, because that's what I'm doing on this video, isn't it? Actually, I'm going to show you a recent purchase, um, which is going to come in handy uh, when food is low. I haven't got anywhere to put it yet, uh, so we just bring it out when we use it, but it's the Ninja Creamy. Anyone who knows, knows it's pretty much an ice cream maker, so I'm definitely going to be using that later on uh, and showing you what I do with that. Basically, an Oreo ice cream is incredible, so stick along for that because that's going to be later on. Absolutely incredible fruit. If you know, you know, I think they're called loquats in English. In Spanish, they're called nisperos. I used to have them when I was younger. Um, and I recently rediscovered them in the shop, uh, which is obviously great because they're delicious. Right, time to flip the eggs. I'm gonna do it one handed. This could go very wrong. Oh my god, that was close. Oh man, please. Yes. Alright, breakfast is served. So I've got the eggs, the bagels. I burnt one of the bagels and I overcooked one of the egg. I might eat outside actually, it's, nice. it's always a nice day to be fair. I, oh, I overcooked one of the egg yolks and I burnt one of the bagels all because I'm vlogging, all right? I'm never that kind of person, so who takes our eye off the ball when they're cooking, but that deserves a like, surely. Uh, right, I'm gonna eat this, uh, maybe outside, maybe here, actually. Um, and that's gonna be that. We'll see what's next. Okay, just wrapped up a big block of work um, and I'm hungry, I've built quite an appetite. So, luckily I've prepped my food because on busier days, making sure meals are prepped is a massive key to success. So, oh, so we've got literally chicken, chicken rice and veg, the classic. So we've got 100 grams of, I'll just show you. I'm gonna be having 100 grams of uncooked rice, some veg, and then this is gonna be 200 grams of cooked chicken breast. I'm obviously gonna heat these up, and then I'm gonna eat. So there's the meal in all its glory. Very basic, but I do, I sometimes do enjoy just having chicken and rice, to be honest. And the sources of choice, well, the source of choice is gonna be Thai sweet chili. Now this is very heavy in calories, but I've been having it throughout my off season. And I do actually vlog it into my fitness pal now that food's a little bit lower. I'm also adding some crispy onions. See that, there we go. I'm also logging these as well, so that they're accounted for just a bit higher of fat. So while I'm eating this, I'm gonna get back to some client WhatsApps on the laptop. After this, I don't know, I might have the Ninja Creamy ice cream, I'll see, I might save it for later. And we'll see what's next. Ah. 
All right, just done a top up shop every now and then because it's too early in the week to do the full food shop, but we need some bits. So we came to get them, but uh, that's not why I'm filming. Um, picked up some protein bars. I haven't had a protein bar in probably like a year. And we found these brownie one and a cookies and cream one. So I'm gonna give these a test. Oh my God. These are from Lidl. So these have got, oh, 10 and a half grams of protein. And this 10 protein, 10 carbs. It's like, it's a carb bar and eight, uh, seven fat. Texture's all right. I had to put the car on because it's hot. Brownie one, same macros. And this, that's why I never buy protein bars. There's just literally no point. All right, back from the shop. Time for dinner. Uh, it's gonna be spaghetti and then Stay tuned for the Ninja Creamy Ice Cream. I keep going on about it, but trust me, it's worth the wait. All right, here's what we've got in the top-up shop. I don't know why I'm sure it's not that exciting, but I'll just show it anyway. By the way, note the Waitrose bag. Even though I've been living in my way for a year now, I've still got a Waitrose bag. Um, so, some asparagus. It's a very miscellaneous shop. Some more of that fruit that I had earlier on in the video. We got three lots of chicken pre-marinated already. Lovely. Some crispy onions because I was running out. Basically stuff that you've seen today. Sun-dried tomatoes, which go in the pasta that I'm gonna make. And that's it. All right, back from getting steps and it's time for dinner. Believe it or not, I've just got blasted with sun. But that's what it's looking like right now. The time is currently 20 to 9. Um, and it looks like that. So body clock's a little bit like what's going on. Um, but either way, I've got dinner, uh, which is made already. Chicken pasta, basically. But we've got some sun-dried tomatoes in there. Some, uh, some crushed chilies, some olive oil, salt and pepper, obviously. A little bit of veg on the side. Um, and this is gonna be dinner and if anyone has been watching this long just to see Just to see the ninja creamy ice cream that's coming up after this. I'm gonna look it's already again set <laughs> And ready to go. So we're having that for dessert the meat itself because I know everyone's always interested in in uh, quantities is 130 grams of pasta dry weight and uh, 200 grams of cooked chicken breast and then I I also do track the olive oil because obviously it's fast. All right, the time has arrived for dessert. The long awaited ice cream with a Ninja Creamy, so I'm gonna set it up. All right, so ingredients, very, very simple. So I've added 300 grams of vanilla soy milk. Uh, so barely any calories, you can do it with any milk, obviously. Uh, I've then added a few flavor drops, a few car caramel flavor drops in there as well. Um, and then a little bit of coconut milk. You don't need to add any of that, but it just makes it a bit creamier, makes it a bit more, a bit tastier as well, so. Um, that's step number one. Step number two is obviously putting it in here. I don't know if you'll see that, but... Add some chocolate drops to it. Or some chocolate chips. Just a handful. Not even a handful. And then, this is the, obviously the, the secret ingredient. I add Oreos. Just break them up like that. I'm using, I'm going to be using four Oreos, so this will then mix them up all into the ice cream, and then the other two I'll crumble on the top at the end. Uh, and obviously I'm counting all these calories. Bear in mind I've still got some 
you know, a decent amount of food to play with so I can allow myself to have Oreos. When it gets into prep, of course, I'm not really going to be doing that. It's going to be just the liquid, probably. So, this is how it looks once the Oreos have been mixed in. And as I said, I'm going to be adding some at the end on top, which is absolutely key. So, there we go. Oreo ice cream.